everyone, my name is Tarani Dalal and I'm Tarla Dalal's granddaughter. Today, I'm going to show you how to make nachos with salsa and baked beans. This is a really quick recipe that's very easy to make and I particularly like it because it's different from the standard regular cheese nachos that we always get and it has like a Mexican twist to it. We're going to start off by making an uncooked salsa. You can always buy ready-made salsas, but I prefer to make my own. And since this is an uncooked version, it's really quick and easy. What you first need is some finely chopped tomatoes. You want to make sure that you've used very ripe and fresh tomatoes. Otherwise, your salsa is not going to come out well. To that, we're going to add some chili flakes. Some oregano. Some coriander sugar and now we're going to add a little bit of salt and if you want your salsa to be pretty spicy you can always add some finely chopped green chilies now we're going to mix this really well we'll try mashing it a little bit with the back of a spoon so that everything gets mixed really well Now that we've mixed this properly, we just have to set it aside for 30 minutes so that everything soaks up. Meanwhile, we're going to now start working on our cheese sauce. We're going to need a few slices of cheese. Okay, so you want to tear the cheese slice up into smaller pieces so that it mixes well. If you notice, the flame is right now off because uh, we want to mix the cheese and the milk first. Otherwise, it'll burn really quick. So that's why right now, I'm mixing it without the flame. You can also use grated cheese if you want, but I prefer to use this kind of cheese because it's just easier. Now that we've got our uh, cheese slices, we're gonna add some milk. And now we're gonna switch on our flame. You wanna keep it on a medium flame because you don't wanna burn your cheese. and keep mixing it until all of the cheese melts. You don't want any lumps left. You can uh, stir your cheese a little bit fast to make sure that it doesn't burn. You can see that the cheese has melted. The sauce is thick and nice. Now I'm gonna switch off my flame because you can see that the cheese is cooked, so is the milk. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of mustard powder just for some flavor. You really wanna make sure you don't add too much. And now I'm going to add a pinch of salt, not too much because the cheese is already quite salty. And now I'm going to mix it. Our cheese sauce is ready. Now that everything is ready, let's move on to preparing our nachos. Keep in mind that if you want to serve these to guests, keep everything ready and only prepare your nachos just before you're going to serve them. Otherwise, they can get really soggy and that doesn't taste good at all. So I'm going to start by taking a few corn chips and just arrange them all over the plate. You don't have to put them in any particular order unless you want to of course. You can just put them all over your plate. Now that our plate is filled, we can finally start putting the toppings. I'm going to start with putting some baked beans on top. Usually the real nachos recipe actually requires refried beans, which is really complicated. So I just take a shortcut and put baked beans straight. Next, we're going to put our salsa, which we just prepared. So I'm just going to spread this all over, no particular pattern, just. Now, I'm going to put my cheese sauce all over this. You want to make sure that you're preparing this really quick so that they don't get soggy. I like putting a little bit extra cheese sauce because I think the cheese sauce really brings the nachos to life. Now, I'm going to add some spring onion whites. Just a little bit. Now, I'm going to be adding some spring onion greens. I'll add a few olives, 
just sprinkle them over. And of course, for flavor, we all love chili flakes. Not too many though, because we've already added that in our salsa. We don't want it too spicy. And now, our nachos are ready, just like that. If you enjoy our recipes, click like. To see more of my recipes, click here. Please share your comments. I would love to hear them. I'm waiting for them.